If you get a warning that you're running out of space, here are five tips for freeing up space or getting more. Now here's the first step, you wanna to go to drive.google.com forward slash drive forward slash quota. Or easier way to do it is if you just jump onto your menu, your Google app menu, and you go down to drive. And then from here, we can go down to storage. So here we can see that it's divided into drive. I'm using a total of 99.27 gig of storage on my Google Drive. 83.41 gig is in my drive. 4.8 gig is on Gmail and about 11 gig is on photos. I need to focus now on where I'm gonna start putting my effort in cleaning out some of this space. Step two is to free up space in drive. Your files here under this storage account are listed from your biggest to your smallest. So we can right click on any one of these files and then move to trash. And then from here, we can also check on different file types. So we can look at audio recordings that you no longer need, old presentations, maybe old drafts or copies of files, and we can select them and then move them to trash. So let's go ahead and start that now. So right here, I can right click and download it if I wanted to, or I could move to bin. And then it's gonna to say to me, hey, this is gonna be moved to bin your 30 days before it's completely removed. Now we're gonna, in order to make space, we are gonna delete our trash can as well. So some of these projects, copy of a project is a telltale sign that this is probably being copied from another space in Drive, or I have multiple copies of it. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of my major. Okay, then we can look at different file types as well. So we can go here in here and say, I uh, wanna look at some old PDFs, and then you can go ahead and start deleting the files that make sense to you to delete. Oops. So I'm gonna go back to my drive because I didn't delete the things in drive and I'm gonna go to the bin and I'm gonna go ahead and empty the bin. So on the right hand side here, you can see it says empty bin. I'm gonna go ahead and delete forever. It does give you a warning. Hey, you're gonna delete this forever. I'm gonna go ahead and delete forever. It's obviously content that I wanna get rid of, hence why we're trying to make storage space. Okay, step three is we're gonna free up space in Gmail. Find emails that you can delete using the Google search. So go ahead and navigate to your Gmail. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Gmail here. So over on in Gmail, what we can do is we can create search prompts in order to quickly find emails that are old and redundant that we can get rid of. So here's a couple of search prompts that might be useful to you. Have a look at this. If you like the video so far, make sure you like and subscribe at the bottom for any videos that I pump out in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with something like, if an email is greater than 25 megabytes. So all you need to do is this, you just type in larger 25 megabytes, and it's gonna list everything that is larger than 25 megabytes. Now I can search for things like, you know, eight months ago. So I can do older and then underscore than, let's say nine months. And if you wanna do months, you just do M, so nine months. And then I can search and see oh, everything that's older than nine months, I can go ahead and delete. So in this case, I would go ahead and click the checkbox. I can go ahead and select everything that matches that criteria. And then I can go ahead and delete. I can also do prompts like anything that has an attachment. So I can do has attachment, type an attachment. And then anything with an attachment will come up. Now, if I want to be more specific, I can say not just an attachment, I want it to have like a drive a drive link to it, or document, or spreadsheet, document, and it'll pop up everything that has a document. Now I know what you're thinking, can you combine some of these prompts? Yes you can, which is brilliant, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Older than three years, because that's my prompt that has older than three years. That is larger than 25 megabytes, and also has an attachment. So now everything here is older than three years. So I've got 10 emails there and I can go ahead and delete those, okay? So if there's some newsletter that you've signed up to that you no longer check, then you can just do this, okay? Whatever that, whoever that sender is, from, colon, whoever that send, sender is, and then get rid of it. Caution, after emails are permanently deleted in the next step that you're not gonna be able to recover them. So once you empty out the trash can, this action permanently deletes your emails and you cannot go back to recover them. Mind you, that is our objective. We wanna free up space, so that is what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and empty out our trash can. So I'm gonna go here on the left-hand side, I'm gonna click on more, 
and then I'm going to go to bin. I'm going to highlight everything that's in the bin, everything. Okay, select all of these emails that I want to get rid of, and I'm going to delete forever. That leads up to step four, which is freeing up space in photos. Find and review your videos because most often they're probably the largest and take up the most storage space. So we can go ahead and find those and delete old videos or archives that we no longer need. So the best way to do this is Google Apps menu and then scroll down to Photos. And then from here, you can search for your videos. So I can search here videos. And now I can go ahead and look at these videos. I can maybe download them if I want them from off, offline storage, or I can go ahead and delete these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on it, and then I can move it to the trash can and move to bin. Okay, yes, move it to bin. Okay, you might wanna do this as well, because sometimes you'll upload a video that is unsupported in Google's photos. So you might wanna search, it's quite useful to do this, because this is not gonna show up in any of your albums, and it's not gonna show up in when you search your photos. So if you type in unsupported in the search column, and just press enter, you may, like me, have no results, because I don't have any videos or photos that are unsupported, but it might surprise you that if you've been using Google Photos for years, that you might have a collection of videos that are actually not supported by Google Photos. So you can go ahead and find that by putting in this prompt and then deleting all of the unsupported content. Just like Drive and Gmail, we're gonna go to the bin and we're gonna go ahead and delete the stuff that's in the bin. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press on Empty Recycle Bin. Once we empty this, mind you, the warning, once you've emptied your bin, you cannot restore any of that content. So make sure it is something that you wanna delete and then get rid of it. Step five, of course, is just to get more storage. Now you can't buy storage if you have a work or a school account directly. Instead, you're gonna to have to ask your administrator to upgrade your license or increase your storage limit. Now, how do you actually get storage? So if you are on a personal account, and you go to Drive on the left-hand side at the bottom, it says get more storage. If this is something that you need to do, then maybe consider one of the annual subscriptions, because you get 16% off, and then you can go ahead and buy more storage. However, before you jump with the question, I would suggest go back, review the video, and try to free up some of your storage. Let me know in the comments below which prompt was the most useful for you. Okay, comment in the section below, and as always, like and subscribe to the videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. So you might be wondering, how much storage did I free up? I was on 99 and now I'm down to 64 gigabytes and that's a five minute audit of my account.